have a vague recollection of when we used to get hot summer days in the UK. I don't know what the temperature is at the moment, my weather indicator has broken. All I know is it, it's cold. And that's why we should go for this theme here, in the Gnome Shell remix of Ubuntu. It has a nice blue cold theme to it. So yes, this is a distribution review of the Gnome Shell remix. It's an unofficial remix of Ubuntu that has a Gnome Shell instead of Unity. And for some people, they may well like that. For me, I don't know, I do quite like Unity. It's pretty much what you would get in Ubuntu. You've got similar sort of applications. It, like Ubuntu, it doesn't have the codecs and the restricted extras, but they're easily installable. As is the standard in GNOME Shell, I've got the activities, you can switch between windows and applications, I've got a calendar, a universal access settings, volume control, network settings, and the user menu. Nothing else really special on the desktop, it's very basic. So, take a look at what we get pre installed. So, go straight over to the applications, use these filters, and go for the accessories. Uh, well, though, see, there's nothing that special here. We'll just go on to games. We've got quite a few basic games come included in the Gnome Shell Remix. Under graphics, so we have Document Viewer, an Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell Photo Manager, and Simple Scan. Under Internet, so we have a desktop sharing app, email settings. Empathy, Firefox Web Browser, and Remino Remote Desktop Viewer. Remino Remote Desktop Viewer and Transmission for Downloading Torrent Files. Just go and open up Firefox. As you'll see, it's the basic settings. So you've got the Ubuntu start menu of Firefox. I'll just go for one of my videos that I looked at earlier. The old Indian phone scam. You see, it doesn't work because we don't have Flash installed but you do get the option during the installer to install Flash and the other restricted extras. Or alternatively, you could install the Ubuntu restricted extras via the Ubuntu Software Center. Right, carrying on though, we look at under Office. So once again, we have a link to Document Viewer, Evolution for email, so it's Evolution instead of Thunderbird. That's good, I do prefer Evolution over Thunderbird. So with LibreOffice, we've got most of the LibreOffice suite. We've got Calc, Draw, Impress, and Writer, Missing Base, Other, nothing there, Programming, nothing there, Sound and Video, so we've got Brazio, CD and DVD Writer, Cheese, Webcam Viewer, Totem Movie Player, Rhythm Box, and Sound Recorder. System Tools, uh, just a variety of things here. We'll open up the System Monitor. Got the same kernel as Ubuntu 12.04, just a Linux kernel 3.2. Not a very good kernel though, a lot of issues with it. Memory usage, it's fairly low, 310 meg. Though I did see it shoot up earlier when I was testing it, it got to about 500. So in fact, that is still lower than Ubuntu's Unity desktop. So there's nothing much else notable with applications. We'll take a look at the software center. You get the exact same software center that has the application ratings and reviews. Take a look at Rivenbox. You can see they've left the link into the Ubuntu One Music Store. So you can purchase music here with your Ubuntu One account and it'll download straight into your music folder. And that's the rather hmm, grey dull theming on Nautilus File Manager. Quick look there to see the snap effect working, and that really is about it for this distro. Well, here's what I thought of Gnome Shell Remix 12.04. So easy to use, yep, certainly is. Ease of installation, yep, very easy to install. You've got the graphical installer, and you can dual boot with Windows or another Linux distribution. So the styling, yeah, it's reasonably good. Nothing that special really, it's just Gnome Shell. Customization, yep, certainly a lot of tweaks you can do to Gnome. Boot up speed, yeah, not brilliant, it's not horrendously slow either, but it does boot up a lot slower than Ubuntu and other distros that I've had in VirtualBox. A uh, number of bugs, didn't find any. A uh, selection of pre-installed apps, uh, this is how I marked Ubuntu, that there's no proprietary codecs pre-installed, although they're easily installable through the software center or during the install. Number of apps available, yeah, it's reasonably good. 
and yes, you've got both the 32 and 64 bit versions. So, a good point. So, it's an ideal distro if you prefer to have GNOME Shell instead of Unity and you actually want to use Ubuntu rather than, say, Debian. And it didn't suffer the same bugs that you would get in Ubuntu if you just simply installed the GNOME Shell. Remember, it completely destabilised my system, but I tried it here and no problems at all. And bad points? I couldn't think of any. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's got a few problems as I mentioned earlier, but nothing new to add there. So overall, 90%. Uh, it's coincidentally, it scores the same as I marked Ubuntu 12.04 with Unity. So, thanks for watching. See you later.